Greetings, YouTube. There's a new report out of the Center for Disease Control, the CDC. In the first 19 weeks of 2011, there have been 118 cases of measles in the United States. And these cases have shown up in clusters. And the reason they're showing up in clusters is because people aren't vaccinating their children against measles. Now, measles is not some flippant disease that you get you have a sniffle and you get over. Measles can scar and kill, plain and simple. Parents in the United States of America are putting their children at risk on baseless fears and potentially killing them. Now, for those that are unaware of this fact, the whole vaccination hysteria was started by one Andrew Wakefield. Um, at the time, he was a doctor. Um, now, no one with a look of sense calls him that any longer. You see, he had a single dose vaccine he'd like, he wanted to market. Very simple. At that time, uh, the standard uh, vaccination policy was a three round vaccination system. I know, I am currently in a vaccination program for hepatitis B. It is also a three round um, process, you have one shot, a month later another shot, and then six months later a third shot, or five months, whatever, whatever but three shots. Dr. Wayfield wanted to have a shot that was a single dose. It'd be simpler, um, easier to deal with, you only have to poke a kid once. But to get his marketed, he would have to run against the established process, which was the three round model. In an attempt to discredit the three-round model, a wonderful marketing strategy if you want to get something sold is to discredit your competitor, he came up with some absolute BS research, and it was, there was no basis for this research, it was made up, um, it was falsified, showing that the three-round uh, vaccination process was flawed and that it was putting children at risk to autism. It wasn't. Autism is not caused by vaccines. We're not sure what autism is caused by. Um, research is being done. Uh, now there has been a explosion, quote unquote, explosion of autism cases in the last decade or so. And that isn't because the number of cases has suddenly increased. It's been because the way we test for autism, how we define autism, uh, our uh, medical uh, technology has improved, uh, medical decision-making changes over time, how we define diseases is not set in stone, it's flexible, you know, we sometimes, you know, those corner cases get included, sometimes they don't, and since we've changed how we define autism and how we test for autism, the number of apparent autism cases has risen when in actuality the number of cases is probably pretty close to flat or at least been growing with the population. Well, these things have all come together in a perfect storm of ignorance and chaos to come into the anti-vax uh, conspiracy theories and controversy. And because of that there are people in the United States and in uh, the United Kingdom and Australia as well who are not vaccinating their children. Now, their reasoning is is that if I don't give my child the vaccination, I am not putting my child at risk. Because a vaccination is an active thing. You are intentionally putting your child into a medical process to treat them for something or prevent them, prevent something. But if you do nothing, you step back and then the child still ends up being autistic. You can at least say, wait, oh, I didn't do it. So by taking that step out of the process. A parent can quote unquote absolve themselves of guilt that they did not cause the autism. Of course the reality is is that vaccines do not cause autism. I know I'm going to get comments down there that say it does. It doesn't folks. There is no research that says it does and they've done the research over and over again on three continents. Vaccines do not cause autism. But the lack of vaccines allow children to be susceptible to diseases which are easily prevented. Diseases that will scar them, 
It could potentially kill them. And worse, they can put other people's children at risk because in a lot of schools, if you want to send your kid to school, even if they aren't vaccinated, all you have to do is sign a waiver saying for religious or whatever reasons, I'm not going to vaccinate my kid. I don't think we should allow children into schools that have not been vaccinated, ever. You want to not vaccinate your kid, then they don't get to go to school. And you have to find a way to provide their education because you still need to meet their educational standards. There are educational requirements. And then you're going to say, oh, we shouldn't compel people to do things like that. Society compels people to do things all the time. For example, you're not allowed to drive drunk. Why? Safety issue. You're not allowed to walk into the street and discriminately start shooting a pistol into a crowd. You're not allowed to discriminately start fires in forests. Society all the time tells people there are things you cannot do. Well, here you go. This is one of those situations where we need to tell people there are things you cannot do. You need to vaccinate people. Your children need to be vaccinated because if you're relying on herd immunity, if enough people don't vaccinate, herd immunity disappears. And then there's no immunity. And then we have pandemics and plagues. We have the potential to wipe diseases off the face of the planet and hysteria based on false data and bad marketing are killing people and putting lives at risk. Andrew Wakefield should be in jail and society is, needs to step up and say you need to protect your children. We need to stop these diseases. Vaccinate your kids.